This is the Hotwave R6 Pro. But what sort of tablet comes with a screwdriver as standard? Let's check it out. So yes, as mentioned in the introduction, this tablet comes with a screwdriver as standard. But not only a screwdriver, as you can see in the box, we've got two metal brackets. We've got some sort of strap. We've got a fast charger, a USB-C to USB-A female adapter. And we've also got a USB-C to USB-C adapter, some screws, a SIM tool and a manual. But what sort of tablet needs these? Well, let's take a look. Here is the beast itself. Just look at that. That is one hefty beast of a tablet. Now I must point out that this is a pre-production model. So the final version may be a little bit different, but I've been told that it will not be. And this is what the final model will look like. As you can see here, we've got metal screw holes. And what you do is you unscrew these and attach your brackets here. And what that allows you to do is attach this strap so you can actually have the tablet on your arm like that. And I guess it would be used or useful for some sort of working or climbing or camping. I don't know, but that's what the clamps are for. So the back of the device is made of very sturdy, hard, rubberized plastic, but it's not that type of sticky plastic. It's a nice solid feel. We've got a 16 megapixel camera up here and flash. The front of the device has a 10 inch screen. We've also got another 16 megapixel camera there on the front. We'll take a look at the camera quality later on. We have speakers here and speakers there. So we've got a stereo speaker setup. We've got our power button, volume rocker, microphone there and on this side we've got our USB-C port and the SIM card tray. Now this SIM card tray can hold either two micro SD cards or a micro SIM and an SD card and of course it's 4G compatible as well. Not 5G but 4G but that's okay. However what we want to see is how good is the screen on this beast since it uses an IPS screen. Straight away, you can see from here, the black levels are not too bad. I mean, it's not OLED, so it's not gonna be pure black, but it's not too bad indeed. And the screen itself is very vibrant. We'll talk about the specs later on. But first, let's take a look and see what's built into this tablet. So here we are taking a look at the tablet with all the apps built in. Now I've added a few apps, but they were games only. So as you can see, it comes with all the Google apps pre-built in and that's because it's running the latest version of Android, Android 12. It also has the latest security patches as well. So no problems there. But what I'm interested in showing you is the tool bag because there are apps kind of unique to this device or devices like this. So let's take a look at the tool bag. So first of all, we've got a warning. Yeah, this is going to be loud. Listen to this. Oh yeah, okay. We've also got this one, which is a screen test. Flashes a screen, all different colors. As you can see, that is working perfectly. No dead pixels on this. And we've got a flash as well at the back, which you can kind of see flashing away. Another interesting option is the plumb line. Here you go, it's focused in on the DeLorean there. And we can use this to figure out the, the degrees. As you can see, the plumb line there. So that's an interesting little feature. Maybe you're going to be building something and you want to make sure it's straight. I guess that would be useful. Another nice little feature here to make sure something is flat. You can't really see that there. Hopefully you can. It's also a good testament of the screen quality. You can just about see it there on the camera. We've got other things like a protractor a height measurement. 
and this is kind of weird because you do have to set it up and I can't be bothered doing that, so I'm not going to show that. Sound meter, so we've got a nice decibel meter in here. And as you can see, um, yeah, we're in a noisy workplace. All right. <laughs> Picture hanging thing, so you can make sure your pictures are nice and straight. Compass, magnifier. This basically just uses the camera and magnifies things. So we'll zoom in on the DeLorean there and see if we can do that. There we go. Can we uh, scroll it up? No, we can't. We're kind of stuck there. So it basically just uses the camera to magnify things. All right. So talking about the camera, let's head outside and take some videos. Now it is a little bit overcast today, so we're not going to get super hyper bright sunny pictures with this. But we'll see how those 16 megapixel cameras function outside in an overcast day. And while we're there, we'll do some video as well. I wonder what the microphone quality is going to be like on this. Because these type of chunky devices usually have the microphone hidden way inside the case. So um, we'll find out. So here we go, taking a look at the front camera and the video quality from that. Now both the front and back cameras are 16 megapixels and this front camera looks pretty good from what I can see on the screen now. But it all depends on what it looks like after it's recorded the video. So before we take a look at the photographs, let's take a look at some video footage taken with the back camera and we'll also check out the zoom quality. So as you can see from the video there, um, the sound quality was not too hot, was it? And the video quality, it was okay. Nothing amazing, but it's serviceable, I guess. It's not like you use a tablet to take videos anyway. So let's take a look at some pictures taken with the front and rear cameras. While we're outside, let's check out the specs. So as you can see, it's running Android 12. It holds a P60 octa-core CPU, and it's got a 15,600 milliamp battery. That's gonna last a week easily. You can also charge from this device. So, you know, if you've got a phone, need a bit of power, plug it into this device. Memory is eight gigabytes plus 128 gigabyte storage. You can expand that up to one terabyte. Not bad at all. As mentioned earlier in the video, the screen is 10 inches. Resolution is not too hot at 800 by 1280. And of course, connectability, we've got 2G, 3G and 4G. And here we are back in the studio and that means we've got to check out some games and here we go with a native Android game running. And just look at this. That's some pretty nice graphics running at a very stable frame rate. Let's see how we get around here. Whoops. Not bad at all. But you know, it's pretty obvious that um, Android gaming is going to be working pretty well on this device but what about emulation how is that going to work let's check out some emulation and find out
So we started playing some games there and not too bad at all. Emulation's not bad and it plays native Android games fairly well. But what about YouTube? Can it handle 60 frames per second? Well, let's take a look at one of the retro core volumes. All right, so what we'll do is we'll go into the options here. We'll bump it all the way up to advanced. Okay, 1080p 60. And let's see if it works full screen. And we'll get the volume turned up as well. Here we go. Yep. That seems to be playing, no problem. 1080p 60. Let's go to the introduction. Might take a couple of minutes. There we go. All right, so 1080p 60 is good, but what about 4K 60? That's pushing it a little bit. Let's check it out. So here we go with the Costa Rica sample. So what we'll do first is we'll put it into full screen and we'll make sure we've got it running in 4K. So let's go into the advanced settings. Okay, here we go. 4K 60. I wonder if this is going to handle it. Okay, well it seems to be running. Ah, oh, there we go. The 4K 60 kicked in and started jerking. Maybe that's asking a bit too much from this tablet. And to be honest, why would you want to look at 4K 60 anyway? Because this is not a 4K screen. And for some reason, it's buffering like crazy. So um, let's knock that back down to 1080p 60 and uh, see what we get there. Should work just fine. Yep, that's nice and smooth, 1080p 60. Let's just make sure we are on 1080p 60. Yes, we are. Now I have actually got this slightly out of focus so we don't get the more effect on the screen, but if I do put it into focus, you'll see that it is very, very, very tight. Okay, there we go, we've got it in sharp focus. And as you can see, the screen on this thing is beautiful. It's nice and vibrant. Now, as I said, it's not the highest in quality, but for the 1080p, six frames per second image, that is very nice. Looking at the camera screen, it doesn't look anywhere near as good as what I'm seeing in real life. So um, yeah, take my word for it. That is a pretty nice, vibrant screen. And I'm sure you could see from when I took the video outside, you could see the screen no problem, even though I was outside. One thing that I do really like about this device are the speakers on the side. When I was playing the games, the sound coming out of the sides was really good. It gave us a nice wide stereo effect. Now, fortunately, you couldn't hear that because I was recording the sound via a lavalier mic, which is mono, but it really did give us a nice stereo effect. So there we have it. That is the R6 Pro from Hot Wave. Now, do remember that this is a pre-released version of the hardware, but I've been told that the final version will have the same screen, same memory, same cameras, same everything. Actually, same cameras may not be the best <laughs> thing in the world. Let's be honest now. When it comes to taking videos, this thing kind of sucks, especially with that terrible microphone. But for photographs, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad at all. And as I mentioned earlier, you're not really going to be taking photographs with a tablet. So, you know, it's a nice little bonus. Gaming, it does a decent job. YouTube, 1080p, 60 frames per second. What more could you ask for? It's not a 4K screen. So you don't need to run 4K videos. It will run them, but a jerky mess. So yeah, you don't really want to be doing that. And just in case you're wondering, this is a YouTube video. So would I recommend buying this? Well, if the price is right, yeah. Go ahead, pick one up. Um, the biggest selling point on this is the battery. It is massive. It's gonna last you a week easily with casual use. What was it, 50, more than 15,000 milliamps. It is a big beast of a battery in this thing. And of course the weight also uh, reflects that. But if you're out camping, you need some Wi-Fi connectivity, sorry, not Wi-Fi connectivity, you need to get on the network 4G, then pop in your SIM. And as long as the bands are available in your country, you can get online as well. No problems whatsoever. Talking of getting online, we didn't do an online test, did we? So um, let's spin this around so it's the right way. 
So yeah, let's check out, see how well the internet works. And that's kind of weird, isn't it? It's gone straight to the hot wave page at default, as default on uh, Google Chrome. Obviously, they've set that up that way. And there you go. This is that very tablet. When does it say it's released? Um, there's another release date on here. I believe it's coming out in November. But we're going to have some special uh, information in the video description, so don't forget to check that out. So uh, let's see if we can uh, search for something. So uh, let's uh, go to one of my favorite forums. And I'm going to use the old name for it, see if it still works. I'll be surprised if this link still works. Oh, it does still work. It's come up with the new version, borders down. And I should be logged in. Yep. No, I'm not. I'm not logged in. But as you can see, it works fairly well. Hang on a minute. We'll just get that set to the PC version, the desktop style of the site. That's the one I normally prefer. And yeah, there we go. Not the speediest of things, but yeah, there you go. We're now on. Yeah, and that, no problem. So there we go. Links in the video description down below. Check them out, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, guys, take it easy and keep on gaming. See ya.